such a beautiful city. I'm very happy about this outfit. Anyways, I'm gonna be late. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. The weather is amazing. I, I'm gonna cry. I am so happy. This is my outfit. I always feel like I'm overdressed in my student accommodation, but that is not a problem. Did I, I think I just missed my bus. London is such a beautiful city. I'm so happy. After I got home, I um, did some editing. I had dinner. Now we need to clean up the house. I have to do the dishes. Obviously, we don't have a dishwasher in here, so I have to hand wash all the dishes. And I have to do the laundry, the two things that I don't really like to do. So what I do is I like to listen to some music to get me in the mood. I'm just lemonade, chilling in the lemonade. my god this does not close this does not work i'm going to cry authorizing thank you Thank you, Monica Veneta, for sponsoring this part of the video. I love you. I've been getting a lot of questions about where my jewelry is from. They're all from Monica Veneta. I have been wearing their pieces every single day ever since I got them. I would say my style is pretty basic and minimal, but I do like to accessorize. And I wanted to share with you some of my favorite pieces. These are the Alta Capture and Pearl Earrings. They're beautiful. I think they're perfect for a special night, special day out. These are my everyday gold hoops. It's not not too casual it's still bold these are also my other favorites and they're just dainty chains that go with literally everything i shower with them i go to sleep with them they're always on me this bold chunky ring also goes with everything it fits the whole gold aesthetic they're beautiful gorgeous and they're also sustainable all packaging is recyclable and made from recycled materials all pieces are made out of 100 percent recycled sterling silver and and 18 karat gold vermeil with ethically sourced gemstones. So if you want to check out some of their beautiful pieces, you can get a 20% discount using my links in the description box. Look who got a flower delivery. Y'all, I am in a state of emergency because I have a, um, let me get my coffee. The assignment that is due in four days is 100% of my final grade and it is also 5,000 words. But it's okay because we are feeling motivated. Like we are feeling like, um, let's do this. We'll do it. I will. Okay. The module is assessed by a single 5,000 word essay. There is no exam. The bibliography does not count. Okay. So let's talk about our writing process. What is my writing process? I literally forgot. <laughs> Because this is such a big task, I'm going to try to break it down into much more manageable micro goals. Write out like steps so I can just, you know, calm down and think like one thing at a time. Find relevant class material. 
Next step is going to be writing the outline. I assume this is going to take a very, very long time because it is a 5,000 word essay. Oh my god, I am like, I don't want to do this! Alright, let's get to work, baby. This course is called Conflict, Rights, and Justice. And the thing about these research questions is that they're so vague. Okay, one, should secession be prevented? Oh yeah, it should be prevented. Oh, 5,000 words. <laughs> Being a political science and IR major, like you really learn how to write. You write your soul out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this question. I'm gonna do, which is more important for international peace, state sovereignty or preventing mass atrocities? I'm gonna argue that preventing mass atrocities is more important. There was like a historic precedent where abolition of slave trade that expanded the definition of humanity. Human rights norms were- Um, I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to put off doing this assignment until last minute. It's like a healthy source of adrenaline. Mm. Cut up some mangoes and starting this new Murakami book. Very excited. This looks very, very good. Hello everybody, this is the first thing I'm doing when I wake up. I have a busy day today. This is like one of the only times when I can get my work done. Good morning everyone. So I woke up today, I finished making my thumbnail red. Now we are going to my workout class. My class today is called ass and abs, very important areas. But yes, let's go. Let's start our day with a beautiful workout. Uh, uh. Came back home, I showered, got ready, and now I will be going to Cambridge Theatre to watch a musical. I'm seeing Matilda. Matilda's just a great story. I'm dressed very, very comfortably because I am going to be sitting down for like two and a half hours. This is the one thing about lip gloss. It just sticks to you, you know. <laughs> I literally ran here. I made it. I just paid nine pounds for a cheap glass of red wine. I also don't understand a lot of what the actors are saying. First of all, it's like a British accent. Second of all, it's like a musical voice, which is even harder to understand. I cry so much. I don't know how you can watch it without crying. So first of all, good morning. I just kind of wanted to update you on how I have been, if you, if anyone cares. I actually experienced the worst burnout episode I have ever experienced in my life. None of my avocados are ripe. I don't know what to do. I was tired, completely unmotivated, feeling anxious, stressed. So I had this kind of inner conflict that I didn't know how to confront. I also didn't know how to recognize when I was going through these problems. Putting it under the mat, ignoring it, and just being like, oh, I'm, I'm fine, I'm strong. And I think that's when I completely broke down it was a rough time it was not pretty at all but I do feel a lot better and when I talked to my friends about it they were like actually yeah truly like you have been not the you know the most energetic version of yourself which is not bad at all but maybe it's time for you to check in with yourself so I did I listened many many lessons were learned navigating life through your 20s you know I'm still learning I'm still a growing little plant we're still on our journey ultimately everything is a learning 
growing opportunity. You will have become stronger and smarter by the end of it all. Nothing's going to kill you, you know, if anyone is currently going through something similar then i just want to say take all the time you need there's no pressure to rush the process it's it's really okay for you to feel that way and i think it's a crucial step in growing up and maturing so it is all normal you know the tire of the creator song Cause after the song, when the flowers bloom Okay, I really have to get going. I have to leave the house in 30 minutes. The weather is finally looking like spring weather. I'm so... I'm so excited. I'm seeing a friend in London that I have not seen for two, three weeks just because I've been traveling around. I'm currently on my way to Shoreditch. Nice weather. Let's go. I'm at lunch. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't want to ruin you. ready to go. I'm going to a meeting. We're gonna be late, so... my dinner plans because I got tired but you know what we do when we go grocery shopping we do grocery haul <laughs> all right sourdough a small milk chicken drumsticks that I will be cooking today Greek yogurt apples MS will always have these kind of two pound promotions two grapefruits one bell pepper and a bag of avocados now i'm gonna chill i'm gonna do some work read make some dinner that'll be today's day <laughs> So that will be the end of the vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching. Really, from the bottom of my heart. And I hope, hope everyone is doing okay. If you're not doing okay, that's fine too. You're not alone and this too shall pass. So thank you so much once again and I'll see you next week. Bye.